Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Carl Life, and welcome to a new game that I'm gonna do, and that is gonna be MLB The Show 2021. So it's a baseball game, and I haven't done a baseball game in like two decades, I believe. Which was Ken Griffey Jr. baseball, I believe, in the N64. So. I keep my expectations low because, you know, there's not that many baseball games that have been posted or created or developed in the Xbox. So basically, it's PlayStation or Nintendo. So I don't expect much in my first season of Major League Baseball because I don't know the time timing of my swings and all that. I start hitting like, I the batting title that year. I have to do the best I can to like get up to the ranks of being in the majors and basically triple A too. So yourself as a hitter or as a pitcher and believe in yourself. That's what's gonna get you I'll just stop here and count I'll stop the commentating while you guys like watch the whole thing since I'm not much of a baseball fan anymore. Ever since Albert Pujols left the Cardinals and went to California to be an high angel, but now he's currently a Los Angeles Dodger. So I think he'll retire soon, but hey, that's, that's the way life is. So okay, happy car my five. Y'all have a great day. Peace out. Feel sometimes like if you have one bad outing, the whole experiment might get scrapped. You know that your leash is short, and all eyes are on you, and they're going to try to try to fit you in your box, right? They're going to try to make you a pitcher, or they're going to try to, you know, find your defensive position out there. And you you have to fight and you have to battle, and it's it's something that I had to battle my entire life. But it comes down to the fact that you have to be so good that they can't not put you in the lineup, that they can't not put you out there on defense or on the mound. A minor league manager checks in to see if this young man is inclined to make any adjustments to the club's current plan for his development. The player affirms that he's still on board with the original plan. A pitcher is issued a challenge by his coach. And we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. I 
called strike at the letters 0 and 1. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Four home runs and 19 driven in. Ground ball sent back up the middle and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here. Do we put a little hit and run on. Do we go old school new school and just let him swing away should be interesting. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm and right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Now a bunt attempt here. A leap and what a catch. Throw back to second and that's a double play. One finish in this evening's game. Tulsa led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Dennis Santana earns win number four on the season. A young player from succeeding or progressing as fast as he wants to. Well, I think the one thing is you 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 think too much about your success. Um, mm -hmm. There's a process involved with this whole you know thing we're trying to do every single day called baseball. It's a process. You can't worry about the results. If you worry about the results, you're gonna struggle. I was in Double A with Rondell White, the number one. You know, he was, we was going back and yeah. forth with, with number one prospect, number two prospect. He went ten for hundred. To this day, we best friends. He'll say, "No, no, no, I wasn't trying to get you." But in my mind, I'm like, you know, we're battling. He wants to be number one prospect, but the pressure he put on himself was just so much that every single night was 0 for 3, but 0 for 3 was trying to go for a three-run home as opposed to hitting, putting the ball in play. Um, we learned a lot about ourselves there. Minor League Baseball is live and three. Lozano. Next to stand in is Ronald Lozano. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a two out triple. And that's his second trip. Center. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Alan Santos is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. It dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Four, four, take your break. Now with the plate is Christian Santana. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Line drive base hit. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Teha Shah. He dropped a sacrifice bunt in his last plate appearance. Owen, oh, two count. Here's the pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Santos will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Alan Santos comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Way off balance hack that time good for the first strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout 
This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. two delivery and opposite field as he lines this down the line in right and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double when it left his bat I thought it might curve foul but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double by the time the right field attracted down he was easily into second grounded to third he's got it the tag gets one, and he'll be safe on the fielder's choice. Ready now is Christian Santana. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Center fielder looking up, still going back. And it's gone as they add still another. You know, D. Rowe, you're not afforded as many mistakes. And now in the box, Teha Shah getting to hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alan Santos. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Here comes the one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, this has been a completely different performance from into the box. Blake Galen. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One one. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. Santos is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now at the plate, Alan Santos, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Rayleigh is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and deep. All about lately. The organization drafted him higher than he was projected to go, and they seem to believe that he could be a two-way player for them. But not everybody agrees. I've got the mayor, Sean Casey, with me. Sean, you're not sold on this idea. Am I right about that? Yeah, I'm not sold on it because I, I think baseball is such a tough sport. And... You know, when you first get drafted, maybe you come out of high school or you come out of college, right? I mean, it's easy to be a two-way player. But when you get into when you get into professional baseball, it's so specialized. The pitchers are at another level, the hitters are at another level, and the work that goes into that one side of the game, there's so much that goes into it. So for a player to come into pro ball and try and be a two-way player, that's gonna be a really tough thing to do. And not many people have been, have had a ton of success at that. And the refinement's only one aspect of it. There's also the physical stamina that goes into playing a professional season coming from college or high school where you've got a few days off between games. It's very grueling in the pro ranks. Well, it's gru the grueling part about, the, about professional baseball. In the minors, you're playing 144 games. In the big leagues, you're paying 162. The mental part of that, having to play night in and night out, is so taxing and so demanding. So to, to, to do that mental side of it two ways, I mean, for me, going back as a hitter, it would almost be have been impossible for me to do that.
The game's future stars are on display. Striding forward now is the DH, Alan Santos. He's set, now the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Matias is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Three. Now it'll be Alan Santos comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo, up and in. 2 2 pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full 3 and 2. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. First Runners on the move for second. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Striding in is Irving Lopez trying here to plate the tying run from second. The bunt attempt is popped up and the catch is made for the first out of the inning. Throw back to second and that's a double play. So next to bat will be Alan Santos and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Denton at second. Kapler on at first with two down. A ball and a strike. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about 40. a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it so they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs next to dig in Alan Santos he went down on strikes in his last at bat yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. One out nobody on. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Next will be the designated hitter Alan Santos struck out in his last trip to the plate. He's set and the pitch. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by in the base hit. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. All right, here we go. RBI base hit to cut the lead in half. Get the crowd going. You can feel the energy rising. Maybe that leads to an offensive explosion. We'll see. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But the recovery will come too late and the bases are loaded now. So stepping in is Irving Lopez trying to bring in the time run from third here. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Now batting. 
So here is Evan Mendoza, a potential tying run for him at third base. Struck him out. So a great job of working out a certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base. And the ball game is over. This evening's game comes.